We are Matthew and Teresa Lee with Wycliffe Bible Translators, and we've prepared a little presentation for you. Draw Our Life. In September of 1984, Matthew was born to Russell and Marilyn Lee. Five, Five days, days later, later, Teresa was born to Wayne and Donna Davis in Central Virginia. Matthew was born right in the center of North Carolina and his family quickly moved to Wilmington, North Carolina, but much later moved to Southern Virginia. Teresa grew up all her life on a small farm in Louisa, Virginia. Matthew was a preacher's kid. A lot of times he could be found on Sunday playing with toys underneath the pews while his father preached. Growing up, Teresa enjoyed spending time with her mom, dad, and older brother and sister. They did many activities together as a family. One of her favorite activities was when they would take camping trips during the summer. She especially enjoyed cooking out and roasting marshmallows. Matthew became interested in technology at a very early age and was already teaching computer skills to adults in late elementary school. Teresa's family was supportive of many activities that she did throughout her childhood, especially her running. She was competitive in track and cross country all throughout high school. In 2002, Matthew and Teresa began college at James Madison University. They met because they lived in the same building. Matthew was on the first floor and Teresa lived on the fifth floor. Hi. Hi. Teresa and Matthew would go on to spend lots of time together throughout college. But one of the first things they did together was to go to services and Bible studies at their college church. After graduation, we both went in different directions. Matthew continued his computer work. and Teresa continued studying and received a master's degree in early childhood special education. Matthew joined Wycliffe and went to Cameroon. While Teresa began her first teaching job, teaching preschool at a public school in Virginia. During December of 2010, Teresa took two weeks off from school to visit Matthew in Cameroon to see what being a missionary was all about and to attend the Dinya and Kenyang dedications. Neither Matthew nor Teresa knew what was next for them. Sometime later, Matthew came back to the States on furlough. Teresa and Matthew reconnected in the States and knew it was time. And on July 20th, 2013, Teresa and Matthew got married. 
Teresa and Matthew went to GIAL for Matthew's linguistics school, and Teresa became a Wycliffe member. In August of 2014, they arrived in Switzerland. This was a time for Teresa to learn French and for Matthew to work remotely and for a little bit of adventure. In June 2015, they arrived in Cameroon to begin their ministry. And moved into Newland 16. Matthew is a language technology consultant and is part of the training department at CTC. Teresa began working at the greenhouse as a kindergarten teacher to serve the missionary families in the community by teaching their children. Matthew has the wonderful opportunity to teach software tools that facilitate translation, language analysis, dictionaries, and publishing, and promote the languages of Cameroon. Matthew had the chance to go to Ngandere to help the Lutherans work on lectionaries. From time to time, he also serves as an interpreter at Grace Baptist Church in Yande. During Greenhouse, Teresa has four students. JJ, Ada, Michael, and Mercy. And they had an awesome year of learning the ropes of school. They learned to read and write. They practice math and science skills. And overall, we learned a lot of information and had a blast. Three times a year, there was joint learning session when the village and homeschool students joined in for fun. The class size doubled to eight students. Annika, Alexa, Sam, Elliot, Mercy, Michael, Evie, and Ada. We also had extra activities like swimming during the December session, and we visited the SIL hangar during the April session to learn about airplanes. The Lord spent decades preparing Matthew and Teresa to be his servants in Cameroon. God has blessed us with many gifts to share in Cameroon as well as many people to share them with gifts such as technology and teaching. We lean on the Lord as we continue in this adventure. We are very happy to have the opportunity to serve in Cameroon. Thank you to all who take part in Bible translation and linguistics.